Can the KTM 300 two-stroke be the best bike that has ever been made? I will let you guys decide on that. Just place your thoughts in the comment section below on why you think the new 2025 KTM is the worst or best bike. We all know the biggest issue with the KTM is the seat height, however. If you look past that, I personally think the KTM 300 is a one-of-a-kind dirt bike. Let's go ahead and look at the new 2025 KTM 300 XC. The engine within itself provides a more open choice for racers and even enduro riders looking for peak power at the least possible weight. The thing modern KTM engines is that they have been incredibly reliable in recent years, some engines even reaching 500 hours with no problems. In the new 2025 KTM 300, they were able to shed weight with a total engine weight of 52 pounds. One of the biggest impact, in my opinion, is indeed the mass centralization of the frame. The new 2025 models have received some major frame updates. Let's just say this. The frame area around the rear shock mount has been changed. Also, the front side of the frame was also updated, with a new positioning of the engine mounts, which improves flex and cornering, not to mention able to save 300 grams of weight. The new 2025 KTM 300 two-strokes come in at a whopping 224 pounds, which is a lead in its class. Now, we all want to know about power. With a compression ratio of 13.2 to 1, and a whopping 51 horsepower, the KTM 300 kicks like a freight train. But it is not all about power. But the KTM 300 2025 model has a crazy, amazing low-end chug, where it is incredibly beneficial to high mountain enduro riders. The 300 just lugs up steep terrain, without the need of much clutch work, making it a little easier to ride versus the previous models and 252-stroke class. This really is not a KTM 300 versus a KTM 250 video, but when I rode the KTM 300 on our high elevation mountain trail, hands down, the KTM 300 was a preferred choice for slow technical riding. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think in the comments below.